Lux was written for John McCourt by his friend Sir Frederick O'Connor for his farewell tour in 1938. McCourt was one of the most remarkable singers of the 20th century. When Enrico Caruso died in 1921, he became the world's most famous tenor. But even during the Italian maestro's lifetime, McCormack was more popular and attracted larger audiences. Now, we seldom hear Caruso's records played nowadays, but there are at least 27 McCormack CDs available in modern catalogs, each containing at least a dozen songs. It is true that we can only judge his vocal performance today from those old records, some of them made more than a century ago. And though his diction and melodic line are well nigh perfect, his voice seems small and slight compared with modern tenors. However, we must remember that Pavarotti recorded Nessun Dorma through three quarters of a million dollars worth of electronic equipment. John Cormac sang Kathleen Vaughan into a tin horn, and his voice was recorded by a small needle cutting into a wax cylinder. All things considered, it is amazing that we can get any idea of his vocal skills at all. Our story begins in the town of Galashines in the Borders district 